Hi there, John here. I want to talk about how to measure your margins. Now in the previous video, last week's video, I spoke about margin targets, right? And I suggested 20 to 30% gross margin for builders and 30 to 40% gross margin for other trades. Now those are targets. You might be making less than that or the bottom end of that, right? But if you want to maintain your 10% net margin, right? That's your net profit, your profit, left over as a percentage of your revenue at the end of the year. If you want that as 10%, you're gonna to need to be between 20 and 30 if you're a builder, and between 30 and 40 if you're not a builder for another trade. And if your margins are less than this, you'll be suffering a bit, right? You'll probably find money's a bit tight, cash flow is a bit tight, or there's not much profit left at the end of the day, or the end of the month, or the end of the year, okay? And I'll explain more about that in the last video, so go and watch that if that's confusing. Right. I also said your margin is the difference between the cost of materials and labor and subcontractors, if you have them, and the revenue. Right. And that's true for a job. And that's true for your business as a whole for a month or a year, like I was just saying. Now, this part's important, right? You have an idea what your margin is when you quote, don't you? Right. You have an idea what you're allowing, what your margin is in your quote, right? The difference between what you think you're going to charge and what you think you're going to spend on labor and materials. And then when you complete the job, there's what the margin actually is, isn't there, right? The actual labor hours worked and the actual materials bought. And of course, the actual labor hours worked at your actual cost of the labor hours. And I've got other videos that talk about what that really is. So every month you can measure that total revenue from all jobs and the total labor costs and the total materials costs, right? The totals for the month. And they should be the same, right? Your gross margin in a month should be what you thought it was going to be when you did your quotes. If it's not, you need to go looking for why not, what went wrong, or is your quoting wrong, right? Now you can measure the real costs and the margins in your job management system. You should be using a job management system. And you can pull the monthly totals from your accounting system if you set it up right. Put labor wages in cost of sale. So it's the same as for your quotes. Don't have it down there in expenses, right? Your labor for your tradespeople, I'm talking about. And then they should match, right? You should be able to look every month and see if the gross margin reflected in your zero or your MYOB or your QuickBooks is the 20 or 30 or the 30 or 40 that you think it is in your quotes. If it's not, something's wrong. You need to find out what, right? We do this in our coaching and right? we spend a lot of time going, is the margin okay? Is it holding up? We're doing it right. Is our quoting right? Are the boys or girls as fast as we thought? All that stuff, right? Am I getting it right? You should try it. You should check, okay? It's really important, right? If you're not making those numbers, you'll be disappointed in the end results you get. Don't forget, that margin has to cover all the costs of running a business, you know, your business coach and your cars and your vehicles and your insurances and your tools and all that stuff. And it has to cover all the things that go wrong, right? Watch last week's video for a bit more detail. So look, if you're not doing that and you'd like to get started doing that, give me a call. I'll help you get started, right? We'll talk about business coaching, of course, because that's what I sell. But we'll start the process of working out whether coaching is the right for you, thing for you, okay? If you just want to talk about how to get your margins, put into the comments, write margins, and we're going to start a little chat about that, I'll refer you to some, some resources that will help you if you're not sure coaching is right for you. See you later.